Hi and welcome to my video on values. I have taken a really really important subject in coaching and I'm condensing it down into the smallest and simplest format as possible. I'm going to give you tons of information on this and by the end of this video you will walk away knowing at least one of your values or you'll be hopefully inspired to think about what values that you live by in your life and you'll look for evidence of those values as well. This is one of a series of videos which I'm posting, which are all sequenced and linked together. And it's on how to regulate your own chemistry. And one of the tools and techniques to regulate your own chemistry is to actually have knowledge and awareness of your own value system and what's important to you and what brings meaning to you in your life. Hi, I'm Sandra Nelson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. Please also check out the description below where there will be a link to my website and any other useful information from this video content, which might help you. And if you like this video, please subscribe, please comment, share with your friends as we build a community of people who have a real sense of consciousness and who are working on themselves every day. So first of all, what, is, what are values? So values are so broad and so wide because every single person in the world is unique and everyone lives their life by their values, whether they're conscious of it or whether they're unconscious of it. Values are a driving force which are always operating in the background. So for example, if you are someone who maybe you would rate family as being one of your priorities and one of your main values and as a coach I would always ask people okay so where is there evidence um, of that as a value in your life and so um, as you would go deeper and deeper into the questioning into a coaching session um, you would begin to start to see how much that person is influenced by this value in their life or where there is in a tremendously high level of evidence in their life or suddenly they may have a light bulb moment and then realize there's actually, it's a value that they hold very dear, um, but quite often they're working late, they're missing family events, they're absent at family events, there's uh, trauma and conflict within the family. And you might suddenly realize that, you know, as one of their core values, it is something they hold very true and very dear. Um, but there is a distinct absence of it in their life. So values are just such a broad range of things that we actually live our lives by. So it could be, for example, if you are a person who's very family oriented, it may be that you have family, you have family gatherings, you have home security, finance, uh, really good health. Those are all things that you focus on as your core values in your life. It could be that you go further into spirituality. It could be your belief systems, um, could be family events and gatherings, all sorts of things that take up your life and add meaning to your life and symbolize who you are. So values primarily add meaning to our lives and we are all subconsciously and consciously driven by our values, whether we're aware of it or whether we're not aware of it. If you wish to regulate your chemistry and you wish to learn how to regulate your chemistry, it's really important you know what some of your core values are. Because when there's evidence of your core values and you really live your life authentically and you live your life connected to those values, then you're able to alter your thinking and your thoughts, no matter what you've seen, what you've heard, uh, what you've perceived and your chemistry has maybe gone a little bit wobbly and you have to perform in some way then you're able to regulate your chemistry by thinking about how you designed your day how you set yourself up to have a contract with yourself and also then how you're living your life by your values and by altering your thinking you automatically alter your chemistry and that has a really big impact and this also is your chemistry if you're um in an external environment or if you're in a home environment and there's someone else's chemistry is really affecting you your thinking can shift and go into your values and go into other uh, areas of thinking which can really help support you in difficult situations hi i'm sandra nelson please subscribe comment like and share my youtube video i post every tuesday thank you